All right, this is the first video that I'm making um, on my drift trike, motorized drift trike uh, build. I picked up uh, the uh, 212cc um, gas engine from Harbor Freight. Paid about a hundred bucks, I guess, for it. Um, and I started ordering all the stuff I need for it um, through OMB Warehouse and um, um, hot rod mini bike. I got the uh, rejetting kit plus the intake. Um, I got the pipe. I still have to, still waiting on the muffler, um, the cam, piston, um, and various other parts that I got to do. But uh, I'm going to unbox it and start working on it. This is the first build that I've done um, on a small engine like this. So um, it should be interesting to see how it comes out. Everything's going to be fabricated by myself. Uh, frame. Uh, I did already purchase the Mongoose um, uh, Dolomite bike for the front end. And uh, I got that in storage. And like I say, I have several other parts coming in that I'm going to be working on. And I'll just be um, making some videos. Um, showing how progress goes. Thanks. Okay, so this is what we got now. Completely pulled it all apart. Um, I polished up the valve cover on my polishing wheel. Came out pretty nice. Um, cleaned up everything on the inside. I took off the bolt there for the governor and, and here as well and tapped it for um, a quarter 20 insert. Put a stainless steel insert with uh, some Loctite on both of them. Um, I don't have a bolt big enough for that hole though, so I gotta get a bigger one. Also got uh, pulled out the uh, uh, rejetting kit for the carb. There's the old one, and the new one is right here. And I got that from OMB Warehouse. It's like $15 or something like that. So I'll put that up in there. Um, still waiting on the piston, the rod, the spark plug, the billet flywheel, lifters, spring, um, and something else. There's something else I'm missing, but it should be coming in tomorrow, and we'll get that all in. All right, so um, got my stuff in. Got the uh, ARC rod, the billet flywheel. I got a new one, spark plug. Other things too, uh, bearings for the rod, lifters and springs, cam, the dyno mod uh, two. Um, I got push rods coming in as well, um, and I got new rings, piston. I ended up finally painting the block black, filled, filled in all the holes. Um, I had to drill this out and tap it to a half inch. And a uh, side cover as well as a new gasket. Got the new uh, fuel line in red. And I'll be putting all this together. Hopefully getting it all working by the end of the day. Well, there she is. All put together, except for the gas tank. Um, I still got to tighten this down because I got to adjust the valve lash after I get the push rods in. I'm also going to paint the exhaust tube. Waiting on the muffler to come in still. Um, but everything else is in there. Um, got to figure out some way to attach the throttle and uh, I'm just waiting on a couple of things to come in before I give it a test start but other than that it's pretty much done. Came out pretty nice I think. I'm going to clean up these wires too. 
I'm going to snip it right there and attach it here with some heat shrink tape. So I don't need that connection anymore. Got the exhaust on, painted high temp black with muffler. I reused the um, seat clamp from that Dolomite bike. And actually here is the front end I'm going to be using. I'm probably going to repaint the rim of this bike, or the rim here, uh, set in black to match the uh, rear wheels that I have um, already. And uh, I'm going to have to probably weld on a piece of pipe here to make this 7 eighths. This looks like 3 quarter um, to fit the grips that I bought. And um, here I got to put some oil in it. Uh, got the tank on. Uh, cleaned up these wires. The clutch is on already as well. Um, and it's ready to go. Using my pipe bender, okay, over there, I reprofiled the, um, the handlebars. These used to be straighter, out kind of like this. I bend them down, a little bit more comfortable. 